Hello guys. We are back again. We are looking at chemistry form 1 under the separation of mixtures. And the question we have reads the mixture below shows a setup that was used by a student to separate a mixture of water and ethanoic acid. This is not enthalpy but ethanoic acid. Study it and answer the questions that follow. We have the setup, we have the thermometer that is used to measure the temperature of the vapor that is passing through this point. We have the glass beads in the fractionating column. We have the Leibniz condenser. We have the water inlet and the water outlet. We have the beaker that is used to collect the liquid that boils fast. And then we have the pieces of broken porcelain. And of course, the mixture is being heated. Before we look at the given questions, a mixture of water and ethanol form a liquid-liquid mixtures. And we said under liquid, liquid mixtures, we have two categories. That is, we have those liquids that mix uniformly. And those that mix uniformly, we call them miscible liquids. And those that do not mix uniformly give us what we call immiscible liquids. In this case, the mixture we have, which is a mixture of water and ethanoic acid, are miscible liquids. And miscible liquids are separated by a process known as fractional distillation the, least, the reason why we use fractional distillation is because the liquids have different but close boiling points now let us go through the questions given and the first question we have State one mistake in the setup. If you look at our setup, water in should be water out and water out should be water in. It means the water inlet and water outlet have been interchanged. So that is one of the mistakes that has been committed in this particular setup. So we can say the water inlet and water outlet have been interchanged. A student can also use the word reversed. B. State one reason why a round bottomed flask is preferred to the flat bottomed flask. Remember, we use a round bottomed flask because it ensures even distribution of heat. So we can say a round bottomed flask, a round bottomed flask ensures even distribution of heat. Then we move down to part C. Part C, what is the role of the pieces of broken porcelain? And you can see in the mixture, we have some pieces of broken porcelain. If we don't use porcelain, then we use sand. What is the role of broken porcelain? Broken porcelain is to ensure or to prevent this is to prevent what we call pumping 
of uh, the boiling liquids or mixture. In other words, it is to make sure that there is no violent boiling of the mixture. Or we can say, we can also say it ensures non-violent boiling. Thank you for watching and welcome to this channel. And in case you are watching this channel for the first time, kindly take one second and click the subscribe button so that anytime we publish a video like this, you'll automatically be given a notification.